Hello everyone, this is Johnny Orange and today we are playing the Arminius Cav, the quickest damn unit in the whole game. So of course I'm just going to charge towards the enemy and that's like a tosser trying to kill everything in my way. Honestly, that's how I like to play Arminius Cav, I either kill the whole enemy team or I die. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to play this unit, but it's fun as shit. And of course this game, I was thinking, oh man, I've, I've been off more than I can chew here. The Felksmen are coming in, I am getting surrounded, and those Caltrops did stop my charge. So not the best start, and here we go again, I fucked this charge up uh, massively. <laughs> and this is what happens every every time I play a Minius Cav, I either do really good at the start and just kill people before they even know what's going on with my great speed, or I uh, yeah, get myself surrounded and die in about two seconds. Luckily. The enemy has let me escape this time. If he, if he got that hamstring on me, I would have lost a lot more guys. Saying that, this is a great unit. It, yeah, the speed is just unbelievable. He does have a really good charge as well. And in melee combat, he's not the worst. He can do some damage in melee combat with that frenzy ability and the horse kick. Personally, this is my favorite cav when... Well, my second favorite cav when it does come to solo queue. I still think that... At the moment, the tier 8 Roman Cav is just so fucking strong. It's hard to say that any Cav is better than that. But these guys are a close second place. Because of that speed, you can sneak into all sorts of situations to get at their ranged units. Not only that, if you find yourself in a bad situation, you can run away very quickly. And there's not a single unit in the game that can catch up to you. Which makes this unit pretty damn forgiving. The thing that they're lacking is the ability just to melee down infantry units like Solar and Scipio Cav. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure if Solar and Scipio Cav are meant to smash infantry as much as they do, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> A Minius Cav cannot do that. You do rely on your charge more than those cavalry units. But saying that, you do have a lot of movement speed, so you can creep into situations where it would be a lot harder as Roman Cavalry. One thing to keep in mind, the tier 8 Cav on the Barbarian side is Sword Cav. So it's not made for Arminius compared to the tier 9 ones, which are Spears, and they just wreck on the charge. And I have just unlocked the tier 9s. I haven't actually played a game on them yet, but I've seen them in action, and it seems to be... Uh, way more suited to Arminius compared to the tier 8 ones. Even though that is the case, the charge on Arminius is still bloody awesome. And out of all the Cav, the Barbarian Cav does have the best spotting range in the game. Which might not seem like much, but trust me, when you need to scout for your teammates, especially when you are grouped with other people, it comes in handy. And I do think it's an underrated stat, because it doesn't really provide you any points directly, but it helps your team, you can scout for them much easier than the other Cav on your team with your speed and spotting distance. It's also a reason I think you will see these guys a lot in competitive play, because they are the best at scouting. So they can see the enemy before the enemy sees you, which allows your catapults, scorpions, etc. to get shots off before the enemy catapults and scorpions, etc. get their shots off. On a side note, when it comes to the three commanders that players start off with, Arminius is the most versatile, followed by Kanani. Arminius can play the infantry, the cav, the ranged units even, especially at the higher tiers when he gets hardly any terrain modifiers, he can actually do pretty damn well on those archers. Even war dogs, basically the whole barbarian tree can be played with Arminius. So if I was a new player and I only had time for one commander, uh, yeah, Arminius would be the way to go. You can play anything on him and do reasonably well. When it comes to Kanani, you can play the archers, slingers and 
well, kind of the curve, but not really. And of course, the pies. So it's, it's also a flexible commander. But when it comes to Germanicus, on the other hand, which is the other free commander, you're basically stuck with infantry. So that's just a little tip, a little tip slipped in there if you are new to the game. Yeah, Arminius is a great commander to level up, and Kanani is pretty good too. I'll leave Germanicus for last, unless you're really into infantry, and you want to play that a lot. On a side note, I have been basically trying to get the Asian community together, so we can have decent teams in this fucking game. And so far it has been working out. There is actually some good players. Everyone just seems to be solo players on Asia though. Which I used to be. And I still do pretty much 50% of my games as solo queue just because... Yeah, I don't know. I actually enjoy solo queue. <laughs> it's pretty fun sometimes. But once in a while you do like to group up. So if you are on Asia and you're looking for a group and you got some tier 8s or tier 7s, yeah, just add me and we'll play some fucking games. And yeah, that's not what happened in this game, what the fuck. Luckily, I am used to this bug, so I did record the end of this game just while I was in-game. Because for some reason, I'm not sure what causes it. Uh, yeah, when you do play Cav, I find it's only the Cav. The game the replays bug out all the damn time. It used to be with all the units, but lately I've found it's just, yeah, the cav replays are fucked. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thumbs up and all that shit. And I'll see you next time.